Center here in Orlando didn't see a lot of wins last season. Magic really struggled at times. Surprisingly, Greg in this building. Yeah, a young team still haven't yet established their identity. Only 13 wins at home. And really, that inability to defend that home court is why they fell out of the playoff hunt early. The Magic making this. Here, Fournier is checked in. You know, what's a bit alarming for the Magic at home is that it was a step back from the previous season. I mean, for a team that's supposed to be young and improving, they shouldn't be getting worse at home year to year. And both free throws, good for Evans. And a big problem for the Magic at home was that they just didn't protect the rim. I mean, they would end with the second worst home field goal percentage against. And Tyreek Evans is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Top of the key, Fournier. The feed now to Watson. From the arc. Pelicans with the rebound. You know, not really a significant margin in terms of them rebounding, but enough to get the job done. Yeah, but one more advantage in the stat column, and that's what's translated to this lead. So it's Orlando now following the shot by Drew Holiday. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's Fournier defended by Gordon. Deadman score the basket, his second of two attempts. You know, he almost pulled the trigger on that possession, but recognized that there was a better option. That's what we mean by playing for your teammates. Here's Davis. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Davis has got 10 points in the quarter. You know, maybe save that fadeaway move for when he really needs it. And the first half is... And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He had 14 points and two rebounds. An extremely potent first two quarters for him. Kenny, your thoughts, how the Pelicans are playing. They were clearly a better shooting team. Their play calling and execution were on point. It wasn't a dominant performance, but you did get an idea of how efficient they can be. They'll need to continue that kind of shooting if they want to pull away in the second half. Check, what'd you think about Orlando? Well, they could be ahead in this game if they were taking care of the boards. More possession means more scoring opportunities. A few rebounds either way could decide the outcome of the game. Ultimately, this game will come down to who wants it more. All right, that is going to wrap up our halftime report. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Davis playing very well. He has 14 points, and he's still working hard for those rebounds. And that's what he has to do. Solid effort on the glass can make such a huge difference on most nights. On the floor for Alvin Gentry as we get into the second half. Davis and Ashik in the middle. Gordon the off guard with Evans at the three. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. And the shot is good. Gordon's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Magic. Well, it was a slow start to his rookie. The year for Peyton, but he came along very strong. Yeah, it looked really good for the Magic down the stretch. Even recorded his first triple-double. I think there will be more of those in his career. Ashik with the buck. The Magic trail by six to the inside. It's good from Gordon on the assist by Peyton. Peyton's got his fifth assist in this one. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. Now here's Evans. He has six. They think that kind of defense is going to get it done against him. They're mistaken. 